Dinosaur party! Today, Pepper and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George! Dinosaur! Grrr. And hello to you too, Mr. Dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> It is Granny Pig, dressed as a dinosaur. My goodness, Granny Pig, you gave me a shock. Sorry, Grandpa. Didn't I mention I was doing a dinosaur day today? No, you didn't. Granny, why are you dressed as a dinosaur? I'm doing an historical reenactment about dinosaurs with my friends. It sounds like an excuse for another tea party in the garden. <laughs> it's not a party. It's all very serious and based on facts. I am dressed as a Tyrannosaurus. Ooh. And I've made costumes for Pepper and George. Pepper is an Allosaurus and George is a Stegosaurus. Grrr. Here is Granddad Dog. Grrr. Hello, everyone. And what are you supposed to be? I'm a Triceratops. Rawr. Hello. Hello. It is Granny Sheep <laughs> and Granny Wolf. Rawr. Ah, I know what you are, a Brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name these days is a Patasaurus. Wonderful. Well, I'll get on with making the cups of tea. Thank you, Grandpa. Everyone else, follow me. This is how the world looked a long time ago, when there were dinosaurs. Ooh. Let's start our historical reenactment. What do we do? I suppose we just stomp around and roar. <laughs> a long time ago, dinosaurs walked the earth, just like this. I see the party started. It's not. A party. Hello. Hope I'm not late for the party. You're just in time. Ah, a cup of tea. Thanks, old chap. It is Grumpy Rabbit. He is dressed as a caveman. Why are you dressed as a caveman? Well, you said it was a dinosaur party. And dinosaurs and cavemen go well together. Uh, actually... Anyway, I'm good at being a caveman. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but I asked my daughter along to the party. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Hello, everyone! Oh, sorry! It's a bit hard to control this thing. Stand back, everyone! But that's a dragon, not a dinosaur. Whatever! You have to admit, it's good. I suppose it's like a dinosaur. OK, everyone, on with the reenactment. Hooray! Hooray! Ah! <laughs> uh, how long is this going on for? Didn't the dinosaurs die out at some point? Yes, 66 million years ago, the world was hit by an asteroid. What is an asteroid? It's a huge ball of rock floating through space. An asteroid would be super. But where can we get one? It is Mr. Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. I heard you were having a dinosaur party, and I thought I might be able to sell you some stuff. That's very kind of you, Mr. Fox. I've got rubber pterodactyls, plastic nodding herbivores. We need an asteroid. It's like a ball. And it has to be very big. I've got just the thing. A giant beach ball. Wow! Perfect! That could be our asteroid. Ah! You've got people in fancy dress, palm trees and a beach ball. This is a perfect beach party. It's not a party. And you can't have a beach party without music. This is the best party ever. Peppa loves dinosaur parties. Everyone loves dinosaur parties. <laughs> Monkey trees. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees. Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey Trees? You climb through the trees like monkeys. I just hope we don't have to climb too high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You'll be wearing a harness. 
so you can't fall. If you lose your balance, oops, the wire will hold you. <laughs> it looks fun. Me first. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now me. I just have to keep my balance. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't high at all. That's because this is the practice bit. What? The real course is high up in the treetops. Ah. Uh. Don't worry. I'll be down here giving you advice. That's good to know. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the wobbly bridge. <laughs> Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow, we are so high up. Brilliant, isn't it? As long as I don't look down, I should be fine. Ooh, this bridge is wobbly. That's why it's called the Wobbly Bridge. You're doing great. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wobble. Um, maybe I'll wait here for a bit. <laughs> Come on, Mr Pig. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold up? There is a queue behind Daddy Pig. Ah, what's going on? Sorry, everyone. OK, here goes. Whoa! I did it! I did the wobbly bridge. Oh, ho, ho. Well done, Daddy. <laughs> These are the swinging hoops. Oh, there's nothing to walk on. Just use your arms to swing from hoop to hoop, like a monkey. Um, I'm not sure. Come on, Mummy. You have to go first so we can go. OK, here goes. <sighs> oh, my goodness, this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> it's too difficult. Oh, I can't hang on anymore. <laughs> ah! Mummy, Pepper and George are hanging from the wire. What do we do? You need something big and heavy to push you across. Ah, I see where this is going. Hang on, here I come. <laughs> well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's what my tummy was built for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ginormous zip wire. <laughs> this is the last bit. Mr Rabbit will give you some help. Just decide if you want to go head or feet first. Definitely feet first. Feet first, off you go. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Pepper and George, head or feet first? Head first. <laughs> head first, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> And Daddy Pig? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to say head first. Head first. <laughs> Off you go. No, there's been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> I must admit, that was quite fun. No, Daddy. It was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever! <laughs> Peppa loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. Club. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods, and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. <coughs> oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home? But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. 
Yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> wow, it's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! <laughs> Higher! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with mummy and daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, daddy. Yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is mummy and daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. 
Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Go, oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Ah, oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. Water park! Peppa and her family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone! Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. And George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the bubble bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Pepper. Let's play in the bubbles. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? <laughs> ah! oh, oh, no! I'm all wet! Although, I suppose that is the 
point of coming to a water park? Oh, <laughs> let's do the water slides. <laughs> Here are the water slides. There's a tiny slide for little children. <laughs> and a really big, ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on the slide. <laughs> That's very high. <laughs> Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. OK, we're watching. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. OK. We'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig. You can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting. Sorry. I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK. Here goes. Wow, Daddy Pig! You did the big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant! Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. That was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. Trampolines. <laughs> Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. <laughs> these are the trampolines for big children like us. <laughs> now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. The grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high! Not too high, Mummy Pig! Bouncing in the sky! <laughs> Woo! 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 
Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. is unbelievable! Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? <laughs> that was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must... Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Day. Let's see her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hi, Peppa. This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak! But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! 
R. Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You've found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. The tractor. Pepper and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Pepper, George. Can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels, and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. It is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. <laughs> Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. We'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. Now, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Hasn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour. <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No. Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, 
We just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Muddle Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. Oh, I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. <laughs> Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes. But it's fun, too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah! And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bubbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high. George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! Oh, dear. George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. 
Hello? Mountain rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right back. Hang on, Mummy Pig. Woohoo! Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun. I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Skateboarding. Today, Pepper, George, Mummy, and Daddy Pig are at the park. Pepper has her scooter. <laughs> George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. <laughs> Can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Pepper. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. <laughs> well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Peppa a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Peppa. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Peppa, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this! <laughs> Oof! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, hadn't realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... <laughs> wow, look at him go! My goodness! That was awesome! Unbelievable! My daddy is the best at skateboarding. 
because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh! First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a fly. Saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, 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 and let go. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning! Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Play the rainbow game. Yes, please. <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. The Big Hill. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. 
So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. <coughs> Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <coughs> really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <coughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. Ah, nearly there, George. It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> I don't know, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! <laughs> Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. Peppa and her friends are at the playground today. I'm a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! Mr Bull, what are you doing? I'm digging up the playground. Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me.
Excuse me, Mr. Ball. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. Hooray! Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr. Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children size. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <coughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> this is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK. Pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Ball! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh! You are most welcome. Ooh! It looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy! Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. <laughs> Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. <laughs> and this is Brian. He is very sensitive. <laughs> now, children, I am going on holiday next week. And I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me, me, me! It's a bit of work, and you will need to take them home. Me, me! I will do it! Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I love animals! <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. It is home time. Mummy, Mummy! Look what I've got! Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding 
and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. Okay. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay, or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes, it is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water, and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. Yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Pepper. Brush them in the night time. Night, night. night. It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello, Daddy Pig here. Hello, this is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes, we're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Ah, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble at all. <laughs> Pepper and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. <laughs> Here is Madame Gazelle. Madam Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. <coughs> oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Oh, uh... um... yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. 